Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be simplifying a radical expression. We have the fourth root of 17 plus 12 root 2 and we're going to simplify this expression as much as possible. I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. So for my first method I'm going to set this expression equal to something like a plus b root 2 where a and b are positive integers okay so the idea is since this is something that looks like x plus y root 2 so its fourth root must also be something of the same type right so let's go ahead and raise both sides to the fourth power fourth power and then that's going to give me, that's going to, we're going to get rid of the fourth root, 17 plus, and let's write the variable on the left hand side. So let's go ahead and bring this over here. And if you basically expand it, you're going to get the following. You're going to get something like a to the fourth plus 12a squared b squared plus 4b to the fourth. And then there's going to be a, a two coefficients uh, for root two. So we're going to factor out the root two here to make our expression more organized. To keep a long story short, let me just give you this. And then this is gonna equal 17 plus 12 root two. Make sense? What I did was basically I expanded this using the binomial theorem. Some terms have root two, some terms don't. And then I put those together. Okay, separate it into two groups. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to compare the constant part here, which is this whole thing and the coefficient of root two. Kind of like the complex world, remember, we when we have two complex numbers like a plus bi equals c plus di, we compare a to c and b to d, right? Okay, by the way, speaking of complex numbers, make sure to check out the channel a plus bi. Anyways, so from here we get two equations. So this one is gonna be 12, this one is gonna be 17. That gives us a system and to solve this system, since this is a homogeneous system, we can go ahead and do the following. And why is this homogeneous? Let me tell you. Notice that the sum of the powers is 4. It's 4 here. It's 4 here. Everywhere it's 4, pretty much. So I can replace B with something like A times K. You can use any variable you want. But that's going to give me, after the substitution, I'm going to get two equations that could be simplified like this. I'm going to get a to the fourth plus 12a to the fourth k squared plus 4a to the fourth k to the fourth equals 17. And the other equation is going to be 4a to the fourth k plus 8a to the four k cubed. And that's going to equal 12. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and factor out a common factor. In this case, it happens to be a to the fourth power. In every equation, we have that. So we're going to go ahead and factor that out. And guess what? We can divide these equations side by side and cancel out a to the fourth power. So we can divide it by the first equation by the second. That's going to give us something much nicer. Cancel out a to the fourth. And after cross multiplying and putting this together, you're going to end up with an equation like this. Of course, you're going to get higher numbers like, you know, 17 times 4 is going to give you 68. But everything here is going to be a multiple of 4 because of these 4 and 8 and because of the 12 here. I could actually take care of that by taking out a 4 here and canceling out or you can do it at the end. But after you simplify everything, you're going to end up with something like this. 12k to the fourth minus 34k cubed plus 36k squared and then minus 17k plus 3 equals 0. Again, this is a quartic equation just like the previous problem we did two hours ago. Was it two hours ago? I think so. Anyways, and uh, solving a quartic is not easy. You can use rational root theorem and kind of guess and check some candidates. But one of the things you should use always, always check is what? Some of the coefficients, yes, it almost always helps. And if you do that, hopefully you realize, let's do the positives first. If you add these up, 
12 plus 36 plus 3 is going to give me 51. And then negative 34 and negative 17 is going to give me negative 51. So the sum is 0. Makes sense? Which means k equals 1 is a solution. After finding that k equals 1 is a solution, obviously, you can kind of break this down even further. And then you're going to end up with a cubic. Uh, or you could still check for rational solutions. But again, to keep a long story short, I'm going to give it to you. The other solution is going to be k equals 1 half. Okay? And then, are there any other rational or irrational solutions? The answer is no. The other two solutions, because this is a cortic, we're supposed to have four. And the others are going to be non-real complex numbers. And that's going to be like 4 plus minus root 2i over 6. Now, what can you do with these? Well, you can kind of plug them in and try, and you'll end up with some complex solutions. But that's not the goal. Remember, we're trying to do something real here, right? I'm not saying complex numbers aren't real, but this expression is a radical expression, and I do need a and b as integers. So k must be an integer, don't you think? Or one half might work too. I don't know. I have to test it. So did I say a or k? Anyways, if k is equal to one half, let's see what happens, right? We said that b is equal to a k. So from here, b is going to be a over 2. Or we could write this as a equals 2b. Or not 2b. Yay. That's the problem. So you can replace a with 2b in one of these equations. The second equation seems simpler. 4a cubed b plus 8ab cubed equals 12. If you replace a with 2b, you're going to get 4 times 8b cubed times b plus 8 times 2b times b cubed is equal to 12. From here, we get 32b to the fourth plus 16b to the fourth equals 12. That's going to give me 48b to the fourth equals 12, and b to the fourth equals 1 fourth. If I take the fourth root and consider the positive value, I'm going to end up with something like this. But I want b to be an integer. I don't want this. I don't like that, right? So this is not good. This k value is not good. So k equals 1 is hopefully going to work. If k is equal to 1, then my equation was 4a cubed b plus 8ab cubed equals 12, remember? Replace b with a, because that's what it means, remember? So you're going to get 4a to the 4th plus 8a to the 4th equals 12, which means 12a to the 4th equals 12, which means a to the 4th equals 1, right? And from here you get two solutions, but again, we're going to go with the positive solution, a equals 1 is going to be the solution. Since a and b are equal, b is also going to be 1, which means our expression, the 4th root of 17 plus 12th root 2, can be written as 1 plus root 2. And if you don't believe that, you can definitely raise it to the 4th power and then check it out. Okay? Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the second method, which is going to be obviously much nicer. So instead of ta uh, taking the 4th root, I want to take the square root of this expression and then take the square root again, because that's what the fourth root means, right? But why am I going with the square root? Because it's easy and there's a shortcut. Let's take a look. Uh, in order for my shortcut to work, I do need a 2 here, so I'm going to throw the 6 inside as 36. And this is going to give me 2 times the square root of 2 times 36, which is 72. So I can write it like this. And then these kinds of expressions basically depend upon uh, factoring like this. Find two numbers whose product is 72 and whose sum is 17. Those numbers are 9 and 8, because this is 9 plus 8. Then you can write this as square root of 9 plus square root of 8. Because if you square this expression, you get this. Make sense? I hope it does. So that's the answer, which is 3 root 2. Oops, that's not right. 3 plus 2 root 2. But that's just the first square root, so i got to square root it again. So the answer is going to be the square root of 3 plus 2 root 2. But my shortcut works again. It's amazing, right? Take a look. F find two numbers whose product is 2 and whose sum is 3. Oh, come on. You know that. 2 and 1. So this is going to be square root of 2 plus square root of 1, which is 1 plus root 2 as before. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.